Welcome to another week of Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz along with Michelle Grinnell. And Michelle, um, good that we're starting out uh, today's program with a fun subject. Absolutely. They're all fun. They're all fun. Yeah. This one is especially fun. Yeah. Um, Michigan's microbrew scene has been really growing a lot in the last couple of years. Um, but one of the early brewing companies um, was Sagatuck Brewing Company, uh, based in Sagatuck, as you may imagine. Hmm. Um, and we have Carrie O'Donohue, who's the vice president of the Sagatuck Brewing Company, here with us today. So, Carrie, welcome to the show. And tell us a little bit about Sagatuck Brewing Company and how you guys got started. Sure. Thanks. And hi, Michelle. Hi, David. Uh, yeah, the company was started up back in 2008, which uh, in the world of Michigan craft beer is an eternity ago. Yeah. Um, you know, started up by a local gentleman here named Barry Johnson, who... Uh, similar to a lot of other craft breweries, he had a, he was a home brewer. He had a passion for craft beer and decided to go for it and start up a brewery with, uh, help and capital from friends, family, fraternity brothers, and anybody else. So that's when it started way back in uh, 2005. Well, and you're right. I don't think there were many, uh, microbrews in kind of southwest Michigan at the time when, uh, Saugatuck Brewing Company started. Uh, very few. Uh, it would have been New Holland Brewing Company, yep. which is uh, nearby to us, and one or two others. Of course, yep. Founders was around uh, in Grand Rapids, but uh, not nearly the quantity of, uh, what is there now, 140-plus breweries in the state of Michigan. It's uh, amazingly phenomenal. <laughs> sure is. Sure is. So what, um, what, uh, are there certain types of beer that you become well-known for? Uh, yes, we do have a few signature beers. Uh, one of our mainstays since the very beginning days is our Oval Beach Blonde, which to this day is our, our bestseller. It's a lighter drinking uh, blonde ale, a good summer beer. So that's remained uh, kind of our, one of our flagship styles uh, since day one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then going forward, um, we have special releases. We have a series called the Brewer's Reserve Series, which is a uh, kind of specialty styles that come out every couple of months. Uh, but then we also have a couple of seasonal releases. We have a summer seasonal uh, called Michigan Wheat Ale, which is brewed with 100% Michigan-grown uh, wheat, barley, and hops. Uh, and then we have our winter seasonal, which was just uh, released uh, recently, our Neapolitan Milk Stout, which is a dark, dry stout uh, flavored and balanced with vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry flavoring. So it's very popular. This is the fourth year we've had it and the third year that we've released it um, out to the market in four packs and on tap. So you'll probably see a lot of Neapolitan milk stout uh, over the next few months. Well, it sounds delicious and it always, you know, amazes me the flavors that you can get in a beer. You wouldn't think that you would have vanilla, chocolate and strawberry in a beer. Uh, you'd be surprised there are so many craft beers out now that are out of, out of the box, you might say, um, that have Serrano peppers, for instance, is another one of our uh, Brewers Reserve styles. And, and just, that's what's fun about craft beer in general. There are so many creative styles and creative names that go along with the style. So it's just, it's just fun to taste what's new out there at any given time. Well, and you guys do a neat thing. You guys actually let visitors become a brewmaster for a day. So talk a little bit about that experience. We do. We have a program here at the brewery called Brew on Premise, uh, where folks can, uh, as you said, come in and brew their own beer. And the way it works, you call ahead and schedule an appointment, and you'd come in and uh, meet up with one of our Brew on Premise brewers and uh, talk probably do a little tasting first to decide what you want to brew and uh, dial in the recipe and then get to work with our brewers, uh, weighing malt and hops and mashing in and doing the whole (laughs) brewing process, which is three to four hours. Uh, And then you come back two weeks later and you bottle it. Wow. So what I'd actually like to do that. Is there a a set fee for this? Uh, It's in the area of $300 for uh, the full... Uh, the full experience, the full batch. Uh, we provide the bottles, the equipment, the expertise, the brewer. Uh, and in terms of quantity, we, we guarantee five cases, but it's usually closer to six cases. So it's quite a bit of beer. Wow. Uh, folks uh, go in on it as a group very often. And more recently, we've had corporate groups coming in and doing this kind of as a team-building exercise. 
We should and, do uh, that team build that's exercise. That's a great idea. <laughs> we're, and do that. we're all into team building. That's a great idea. I like it. That that really does sound like a lot of fun. How many people can participate in such a thing? Uh, the more the merrier. We have no oh. no limit. We've, we've had single people come in and do it, and couples, and we've had groups of 20. So. That sounds like fun. Well, uh, we only have uh, uh, about a minute, but uh, tell us more about the four packs that are available now, because I, I would think that would be a really nice gift idea. Sure, yeah, the Neapolitan Milk Stout is available in four packs, um, 12 ounce bottles. Uh, yeah, you'll see it out and around coming up uh, pretty much starting right now and then going through the holiday season. And they can get it obviously at the Saugatuck Brewing Company um, in Saugatuck? Uh, yeah, we distribute through the state of Michigan. So you should be able to find it wherever better craft beers are sold. Fantastic. <laughs> and if people want to uh, do like a holiday party experience, uh, I suspect uh, Saugatuck Brewing Company would be a great location as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have a full restaurant, full pub, um, live music on Saturday nights. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun here. So by all means, come by any time. Really nice place. Uh, I've been there, spent a lot of time uh, in the warm weather months out on your outdoor deck, but of course I've been inside during the uh, cooler months as well. Great place. Uh, really highly recommend it. You're going to have a great time and look for that four pack of the Neapolitan Milk Stout available right now as well. For more information, just go to sbrewing.com. I want to thank Carrie O'Donohue, Vice President at the Saugatuck Brewing Company for joining us today. We're going to find out uh, what's happening all throughout West Michigan for the holidays next on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.